Morning everyone, you'll always find us in the kitchen and we're here in the Jerusalem kitchen again and we are looking again into God's precious word. It's sharper than a two-edged sword, it is living and it is active and it speaks to our soul and to our spirit and it feeds us. The word of God this morning is from 2 Timothy 4 verse 18. And the Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. Let the Lord add a mighty blessing to his word. You see, the Lord will deliver me. It's personal. We can personally apply this to our lives that God will deliver us for his, and take us to his heavenly kingdom. The word deliver, he, deliver here is the same word the Lord Jesus used in the Lord's Prayer. Deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom. Deliver us from evil. And deliver he, in, in the Lord's Prayer and here is meaning, Lord, draw me to yourself. Draw me to yourself. There's all this evil around us and we want the Lord to draw us to himself. That's the, the place we want to be as Christians. We don't want to be around, if you like, the, the sin and, and all that's bad, all that's wicked, all, 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 all that's just not of God, all that pollutes our spirit, or pollutes our soul. But we want to be in the pure presence of the King of glory. And so here we see the Lord will deliver me. The Lord will draw me to himself. Praise God. And he will also preserve me. That is the Lord will keep you. Once you've got the Lord Jesus in your heart and you're following him, he's going to keep his hand on you. Nothing is going to take you from his presence. Not even death itself, no power, no principality, no man, no woman. Nobody can take you from the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he preserves me, he preserves you for his heavenly kingdom, for his glory. You know, the heavenly kingdom of God, we've got something to look forward to, folks. The beauty, the grandeur, the awesomeness of heaven itself is waiting for us. No wonder John the Apostle in Revelation 14 verse 13 could write, when he, you know, when you read the book of Revelation, you see a string of beatitudes running through it. And in Revelation 14, 13, we see one of John's beatitudes. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labors, for their deeds will follow them. Oh, what a blessing. Blessed are the dead. You see, when we die, we get to go to heaven. The kingdom of heaven is waiting for us. We have a destiny that is steadfast and sure. Blessed can mean happy. You know, happy are the dead in the Lord. You know, blessed are the dead when they die. You're going to heaven, my friend, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and his spirit is in you. And what we find here, John saying is we're so happy, we're so blessed when we die in the Lord because we, we're getting rest from our labors. Labor here, it means a deep fatigue. It means extreme weariness. And, this, and sometimes we, we come under persecution as believers. You know, especially if you're a Christian in, in an, an extreme Islamic area. The, you know, you're constantly looking over your shoulder. You know, post-traumatic stress. Can, can come in because you're just constantly on the lookout all the time. 
and, and, and you do can end up just getting so fatigued, so worn down, because the persecution is so intense, it is so, so violently real then. But there is rest from that that is coming. There is rest in the Lord. And, and to die in the Lord is a blessed thing. When the Lord calls me, we will follow and he will take us to glory. And who shall we see there in the glory in Revelation 14, 12? But we will see the Lord Jesus Christ. He will have his crown on. We will meet the King of Kings. We will meet the Lord of Lords. How do we live at this time? Well, in Revelation 14, 12, it shows us we're to be patient and we're to be steadfast, and we're to keep the commandments of God, we're to keep the faith in Jesus Christ. So even when we are coming under stresses and strains and we feel fatigue, we keep our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, we keep trusting in Him and walking forward with Him, because he preserves us, he will deliver us from evil. And when we die, for us who die in the Lord, it is a blessed thing. It is a joyful thing. We go to be with the Lord Jesus Christ. Those who are left behind, they grieve, they mourn, which they groan, which is natural to do. But they have the hope that they will see us again in the glory and it will be a glorious reunion of the saints and meeting with the Lord Jesus Christ and we'll be praising him, we'll be worshipping him and giving him all the glory and in the meantime the Lord just asks us be faithful, keep my commandments, love one another. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have got us, that you preserve us, that you keep us when we have called upon your name. So Lord, surround us with your Holy Spirit. Fill us with the Holy Spirit today. Give us strength, give us health, give us all that we need to keep following you. Let your peace be upon our families. Let your peace be in our homes. Lord, let the joy of the Lord be our strength and our strong tower. And we thank you, Father. The heavenly kingdom of God is waiting for us and we will go when you call us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And may we continue to rejoice in the Lord Jesus Christ this day. God bless you.